These on uh, the impact of these proposed reforms, I'm joined by Abong Eka. He is a consultant with Levity. And let me ask you, lowering tax rates for highest earning corporations, coming from 35 to 30 percent, is that enough to attract investment? Is that enough to make these corporations happy? You not guys, at all, no? not at all. Actually, if you, the funny thing is a lot of people are actually interested, a lot of corporations are interested in something similar to what Romney was proposing, which was 25 percent tax rate. Um, the way the rules are now in the tax code, all the money that's overseas, especially in, in foreign uh, controlled corporations, also known as CFCs, they can stay there as long as the co company or corporation wants to until they bring them back as dividends. But it, it, it makes no sense for me, especially if I'm paying a lower tax rate, say in Ireland at 12.5%, or others where the average is anywhere from 20 or so, even Canada's about 20, 25. Why would I bring it back and pay 30%? It's crazy. Well, that, that's the uh, that's been the complaint that it's just way too high, and yet there are there are those who are critics, and I want to get your thoughts on this. They say, well, 35 looks terrible until you start, you know, futzing with it. And they've got great attorneys, and they're able to get tax credits here, and they're able to do this and that. And 35 looks awful, but when you get right down to it, uh, these corporations really aren't paying their fair share. And that's, and that's the thing. The, the political rhetoric, rhetoric is driving me nuts. And as a CPA and as a, a tax and also international consultant and expert. It drives me nuts because it's actually in the tax code. The way what people are doing is in the tax code. They're not who loopholes. They're not a uh, situation where someone's jury, you know, uh, jury rigging the code in order to be favorable. You're just basically reading what's in there and then making decisions accordingly. What do you think of uh, Bacchus's? Are there features in it you think that would be attractive to corporations, or is it just a no-go with them? Well, off the bat, it's a good you... start because unless somebody take, you know, starts the music and say, "Let's dance," no one's going to start dancing. So the reality is. What we really want to see is a lower tax rate, but one of the ideas is basically having a one-time, uh, like a tax holiday where you pay a certain percentage, you bring all your money back at once, and then go on from there and then keep everything here in, in the U.S. There's a, those are about maybe about a trillion dollars overseas, and Apple, as an example, has anywhere from 100 billion, billion with a B, to 121 billion dollars in overseas uh, companies. That's a lot of money when it comes, from, and it doesn't matter what the tax rate is. How do you entice them back? It's, is that the only way? Or? The rates is the only way because right now, as the code stands, I'm paying less taxes in other in other countries, and I'm doing operations in other countries. Why would I? Why do I? Why do I want to pay tax? Also, corporations, their duty is to provide value to the shareholders. What people don't realize is the average American who has a 401k or IRA most likely has some of these shares of these corporations in their mutual funds right. or in their investments. So it, it's, it, it's better for them because then they can invest money in new products. It's easy for people to beat up on them until they look at their, their own portfolio and say, hey, exactly. wait, I'm suffering. So is this, would this, I know that a lot of the large corporations are already saying it's, it's a non-starter. What about smaller businesses? Would they benefit? Anyway? Well, a lot of small businesses may or may not have that. Uh, they don't have the money in order to, to pay for the, again, you need, you need lawyers and also accountants, CPAs, and people who are, who are, who are talented in the international uh, tax code. So they, to them, they're like, we need the money here. Companies like Apple, who generate billions of dollars in the U.S., as well as billions of dollars overseas, they don't really need uh, to bring it home. Someone who has maybe some operations, say, in China or Asia or, or Europe, most likely needs the funds to come back. So they have to pay the taxes. And, and if, they, if, they, if they're under a certain threshold, their dividends aren't taxed at 100%. Uh, they, certain there's a dividends received deduction that they can receive if it's lower, low enough. This is a draft proposal, which means it's not legislation, which means, in a way, it's sort of a trial balloon. How far up did the balloon go before it was shot down? Pretty, not very high, I would imagine. It's very similar to like, the balloon boy, where it's, it's, it's not even a real balloon, because no one's, gonna, no, one's paying, no one's paying attention to it. No one cares about it right now, especially with Obamacare happening. What they really care about is, if you start talking about lower tax rates, then people will start paying attention. And a lot of the people, a lot of the businesses, the, the bigger and larger corporations, are spending, hundred, spending millions of dollars lobbying Congress to not let this be the first step. Well, let me ask you about that, because Dave Camp, who's his counterpart in the House of Representatives, uh, that a lot of these business lobbyists have just done an in around and gone to the leadership and said, let's, let's, let's delay this thing, which says that there's really not much of an appetite in the business community to see much done at all, right? Even tinkering around the edges. Yeah, not even, because again, we're dealing with health care issues. We're dealing with other issues that, that are at, uh, jobs that are actually bothering, uh, that are more important to businesses than tax reform. I mean, we're, it, it, it's too much. It's too, it's too, too difficult of a concept for the American people right now to stomach. Abong Eka, always a delight talking to you. Thanks, Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it.